Hello children, welcome to this session. In the previous video, we have seen the first part, new words also and the reading of that part. In this part, we are going to take the explanation of first part. The main parts which we are going to learn in this part 1 is Kari, a 5 month old baby elephant lives and grows up with his 9 year old friend and keeper. It means the age of Kari was 5 month old and the author's age 9 year. Kari does not eat much just about 16 kilograms of delicious twigs a day. These are the habits of Kari. Playful and sensitive Kari saves a boy from drowning. So. Let us move towards the first part explanation. Curry was an elephant. He was 5 months old and when he came to the author, Curry lived in a pavilion. It was under a thatch roof which rested on thick tree stumps. See the picture. In the picture, we can see the place where Curry was kept. It is with the help of the tree trunks because when curry bumped against the poles as he moved about the enclosures, the pole should not fall. So, it was built in such a manner. Curry enjoyed his morning bath in the river. He would lie in the water for a long time. On coming out, he would squeal with pleasure. Ready. On coming out, he would squeal with pleasure. That shows that Curry loved his morning bath a lot. After the bath, the author would leave him on the edge of the jungle because he has to go into the forest to get some twigs for Curry. It took a long time because first thing the author has to do is he has to sharpen his hatchet which took near about half an hour. Then the author had to climb trees to get most delicate and tender twigs because he knew that if a twig is torn away quickly, an elephant will not touch it. So, author has to be very careful while cutting the twigs. He has to take care that all the twigs should be delicate and tender. Curry and author, as they groom together, so they become good friends of each other. One day, Curry pushed the author into the stream. This he did to save the life of a boy. In the beginning, the author did not understand what it was happening. But then he saw a boy lying on the bottom of the river. He dived and pulled the drowning boy to the surface. However, as the author was not a good swimmer, so he could not come ashore. And the current began to drag him down. Curry saw it. He came quickly into the water. The author caught his trunk. He pulled both the author and the boy ashore. In this way, Curry was able to save that boy with the help of the author. In the picture, we can see that how Curry has used his trunk to take out author and the boy who was drowning. Now, let's move towards the Next part, the second part of the lesson. First, we will take the reading. Curry was like a baby. He had to be trained to be good and eat. You did not tell him when he was naughty. He was up to more mischief than ever. For instance, one day, somebody gave him some bananas to eat. Very soon, he developed a great love for ripe bananas. We used to keep large plates of fruit on a table near a window in the dining room. One day, all the bananas on the table disappeared and my family blamed the servants for eating all the fruit in the house. A few days later, the fruit disappeared again. This time, the blame was put on me and I knew I had not done it. It made me very angry with my parents and the servants for I was sure they had taken all the fruit. The next time, the fruit disappeared. I found a banana all smashed up in Curry's pavilion. This surprised me very much for I had never seen fruit there and as you know he had always lived on twigs. Next day while I was sitting in the dining room wondering whether I should take some fruit from the table. Permission 
a long black thing very much like a snake suddenly came through the window and disappeared with all the bananas i was very much frightened because i had never seen snakes eat bananas and i thought it must be a terrible snake that would sneak it and take fruit i crept out of the room and with great fear in my heart ran out of the house feeling sure that the snake would come back into the house eat all the fruit and kill all of us as i went out i saw curry's back disappearing in the direction of the pavilion and i was so frightened that i wanted his company to cheer me up i ran after him into the pavilion and i found him there eating bananas i stood still in astonishment the bananas were lying strewn all around him he stretched out his trunk and reached for one far away from where he was standing that instant the the trunk looked like a black snake and i realized that curry was the thief i went to him pulled him out by the ear and joyously showed my parents that it was curry and not i that had eaten all the fruits these many days then i scolded him for elephants understand words as well as children and i said to him next time i see you stealing fruit you will be whipped he knew that we were all angry with him even the servants his pride was so injured that he never stole another thing from the dining room and from then if anybody gave him any fruit he always squealed as if to thank them an elephant is willing to be punished for having done wrong but if you punish him without any reason he will remember it and pay you back in your own coin before explanation of part 2 let's have a look of the new words in this part mischief means playful misbehavior and this we found most of time in the children wandering means curious sneak move or go in a stealthy way astonishment great surprise whipped beaten with a whip in this part we are going to learn these three important things curry becomes fond of ripe bananas he believes in self help much to the discomfort of his friend with quite dignity curry accepts the cheating he knows he deserves yes so part 2 curry was like a baby so he had to be trained to be good and it has to be told when he was naughty like the small children your parents they used to tell you that when you have to be naughty and when you have to be careful means the naughtiness should be stopped at proper time otherwise it will turn into more mischievousness curry developed liking for bananas and because of that he began to steal them large plates of fruit were kept on a table in the dining room in the house curry would put his trunk through the window to the bananas in one attempt he would take them all he would then quietly go to his pavilion there he ate the bananas at peace without being seen when this happened first time the bananas bananas were stolen disappeared at the beginning time the servants were blamed for that but again it happened this time the blame came on the author but the author knew that he didn't steal them and one afternoon he found that a large black thing was coming inside from the window and taking the bananas as per the knowledge of the author he knew that first he thought it was a snake but he knew snakes never eat bananas so he rushed out of the house as he was very frightened at that time he saw the back of curry which was disappearing in the pavilion and he followed that so at last the author caught him stealing when he was scolded and he understood like a baby and did not steal again and then onwards if anybody gave him any fruit he always squealed as if to thank them so curry he accepted that he has done the wrong thing and he accepted the 
punishment. But if you punish without any reason, he will remember it and would take the revenge of it. So this is the explanation of part. You have understood this. Now let's move towards the third part of the lesson. First, we'll take the reading. An elephant must be taught when to sit down, when to walk, when to go fast and when to go slow. You teach him these things as you teach a child. If you say that and pull him by the ear, he will gradually learn to sit down. Similarly, if you say Mali and pull his trunk forward, he will gradually learn that it is the signal to walk. Curry learned Mali after three lessons, but it took him three weeks to learn that. He was no good at sitting down. And do you know why an elephant should be taught to sit down? Because he grows taller and taller than you who take care of him. So that when he is two or three years old, you can only reach his back with a ladder. It is therefore better to teach him to sit down by saying that so that you can climb upon his back. For who would want to carry a ladder around all the time? The most difficult thing to teach an elephant is the master call. He generally takes five years to learn it properly. The master call is a strange hissing, howling sound as if a snake and a tiger were fighting each other. And you have to make that kind of noise in his ear. And do you know what you expect an elephant to do when you give him the master call? If you are lost in the jungle and there is no way out and everything is black except the stars above, you dare not stay very long anywhere. The only thing to do then is to give the master call and at once the elephant pulls down the tree in front of him with his trunk. This frightens all the animals away. As the tree comes crashing down, monkeys wake from their sleep and run from branch to branch. You can see them in the moonlight and you can almost see the stags running in all directions below. You can hear the growl of the tiger in the distance. Even he is frightened. Then the elephant pulls down the next tree and the next and the next. Soon you will find that he has made a road right through the jungle straight to your house. Now let's move towards the part 3 new words. Gradually means slowly. Howling means producing a long wailing sound and growl means make a low guttural sound. And in this part 3 we are going to learn three things again. Curry is a fast learner. He masters all signals and sounds he is taught. There is one lesson. Though that an elephant takes 5 years to learn, curry is no exception. Like the children, curry was also a fast learner. Curry learned Mali after 3 lessons. But it took him 3 weeks to learn that. Now these are the 2 commands which were, which were taught to curry by the author. That was the command to sit while Mali was the command to walk. These commands were taught to him just as one teaches a child. But the teaching of master call to an elephant is a difficult thing. An elephant generally takes 5 years to learn it. And Curry also took that much time to learn this command. Yet it is the most important signal for an elephant to learn it. But though this command takes a long time to learn but it is very important to teach the elephant. Why it is? Because it helps an elephant to save his master's life. Sometimes if they are lost in the jungle and there is no way out, then the master makes a strange hissing howling sound in the elephant's ear. And the trained elephant means the elephant who has learned this master call. He understands it and at once pulls out the tree in front of him. And when the elephant is 
taking out the trees from the roots it makes a very strange sound this sound frightens all the animals away even the tiger is become frightened with this sound the elephant goes on pulling down the trees one after the other you can see in the picture that how curry was pulling the trees one after another and the monkeys they were jumping from one branch to the other branch and in a very short time the elephant make a path to reach to the home so in this way we have taken in detail all the three parts of the lesson bringing up curry with new words and reading and explanation so i hope you all have understood all the three parts and the lesson bringing up curry how the elephant saves the boy how he learns the commands and how he is compared to a baby thank you